Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. This is just a little craft with me video where I thought I'd turn on my camera and we could craft together. So if you're working on something, get it together and <laughs> come and can come and work with me. But uh, yeah, I'm working on these three little, uh, you know, previous books I showed you. They're little, this is a golden telltale. I've got two of those little bunny books and then they're going to be journals and this is a first little golden book so I've just been kind of I've got a couple pages in here and I didn't know whether to turn on my camera I didn't know if you guys would be bored or what but I'm just I'm making pages right now I've got the pages for this one over here in my little organizer basket uh, but I've got some ledger paper in here just some random paper and this is some paper that has three layers that I sewed together and made a little pocket here. I think I might be out of this. I just went and looked for some more and I couldn't find any. But um, this is paper that Maria sent me. Let's see, I might sew together this top. It came together, but it's separating a little. So I might put a little stitch right across there. I think that would be a good idea. So anyway, that's this one. And so similar pages in the other two so far, plus the book pages that came with the book. So I am at this point uh, just, uh, oh, I wanted to say, you know, when I come across pages that are just kind of random like this, you know, eclectic type pages, like those are actually my favorite pages to work on in a journal because I'm not afraid of covering up anything, if you know what I mean. I'm, I feel free to glue or whatever I want to do, write or whatever. So that's what these are. And this, oh, this ledger paper is pretty cool. It, it's a big sheet and I was kind of like, thinking I had to save it. I have to save it for big journals, you know, big things, because it's a really big, you know, like wide uh, kind of uh, paper. But I was like, why am I doing that? You know, I want to use this. It's so cool. And this particular piece right here came like this with this little <laughs> uh, receipt type thing on it. So, and it was stapled on there. So I left it on. So a couple of those have that in, in here where it's just a random uh, receipt kind of stapled on there by the previous person that owned and used that ledger right so uh, at this point I was pulling out some scrapbook papers and these I pulled out of uh, this this I know you guys like to see the paper pads we're using or I'm using so this one is called easy peasy $6.99 it says there I don't know I don't know I think that uh, I don't know if I bought this or if it was a gift, but anyway, here's the, it's double sided and because recently I had my birthday and I've got, a, I got received a couple of paper pads for gifts. So this, and I received one from Maria and I sent, and then I put them all together in my, you know, where I keep my paper pads. And so now they're all mixed up. I don't know what I got from who and where or whatever, but it's a really pretty bright colored one. And uh, so I pulled some out because Look how pretty these are. These are the uh, journaling cards and cut apart. So I thought I'd show you. I mean, of course, there's no magical errors. <laughs> you know, it's just like you just cut them apart, right? So I wanted to, I wanted to just cut them some apart and see what they look like. For one thing, I mean, they you can see what they look like in a sheet, but you know, when you cut them apart, then they're separate and pretty, right? So let's do that. Okay, so see, I left a little piece there, so I've got to go back and cut that off. I'm trying to cut right on the line, but that is not always. See, that one I got to cut a little um, strip off, a little sliver. And we won't cut all of these apart. I just want to see, kind of see what, start seeing what they're going to look like if I use these. And they have this pretty color on the back, so that is cool. And so these can be used. I think you could probably write on this side. Uh, it's, you know, an all overall pattern. It's not too dark, so I think you could probably write on this side. Or these can always be used for, uh, you know, different things as far as pockets and everything. So, see, this one needs a little bit of a sliver. It's just a, such a slight sliver. I hate to even put it in my paper cutter. But I think that would still be the easiest way of cutting it and the quickest way. It had this little hole from the paper pad. And this paper pad that I just showed you didn't have... At least this piece didn't have a strip across the top that you're supposed to cut off, but I think 
Let's see what it looks like with that cut off so I don't have that little hole there. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. That looks good. No problem there. Let's do this one, a little sliver. So yeah, uh, I just thought maybe we could craft together today. I just wanted to work on these journals and, you know, uh, have been doing a lot of other things. And I was like, I'm just going to, I just want to work on these journals today. I want to, you know, get them done <laughs> at some point. So you're my main squeeze and it has lemons in the on the border there. That's cute. Have a wonderful day. May you always have flowers and all that pattern on the back. Go and make things happen. Make things. Okay, cool. Okay, so that is two sheets of that that was in there. So I'll cut apart some more of those later. Just want to see. And then I pulled out um, these papers because I thought I would use them. I kind of was thinking I'd use two pieces of scrapbook paper at least in each journal. And, uh, well... I want one to cover each signature and I want to have three signatures. So that's, well, that's three piece. That's three, you know, like pages or whatever papers. I think I'm going to cut off this little where it has the hole. Or maybe I should leave it. Let me, let me, let me, let me experiment with this for a second. So uh, let me use one of these for a pattern. Let me make sure of how, or a template. Okay, yeah, that, this could be a good template right here for this book. These are, this one is a little di bit, bit different size than the Teletail. So I have to use a different kind of template for, see how the Teletail is a little bit taller? So those pages are a little bit different than the size in this one. So this one will be for the little golden book. And so what I wanted to see was, see how this is an all over pattern and it is on the back too. So I could turn it this way. I'm just trying to see, make the most out of this paper without cutting off a strip at the top because I really don't have to. I just have to not have that hole. I mean, if I'm worried about the hole, I don't I don't really want the hole in my paper. So, <laughs> But see how this fits? I can put one piece here and one cut one piece from down here, and then the hole will be in the middle anyway, and I won't have to cut a strip off the top that way. So let's just see. And this all over pattern looks like it, go, it can go any which way is what I'm getting at so that I don't have to worry about it going up or down or being upside down or anything. So be, being that it has that little strip on the top, okay, it's making it a little bit longer than 12 inches. So, but I know this paper cutter does cut a little bit. I can make it go a little bit farther than 12 inches. So it did cut that. So that's that. Now let me see how much room we have. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and cut off the hole. And then I'll have extra here, and we'll use that for maybe uh, some side pockets. Okay, so we won't have to cut off any more and make any more scraps. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I was kind of seeing if I wanted to make a pocket on the bottom with this piece, but I think it would be better... Since I have a bigger piece on the side here, I'll just make some side pockets. So let's do that. But that's a good strip there that I can use for either decorating or make little tiny tags out of it. I do like to do that. Or little journaling, mini journaling cards or something. So let's see what we can do here. All right, so I think it'll be something like this. So here's my template. Let's fold it in the middle. Fold it in the middle. And this is pretty thick paper, but it is not cracking or anything. I don't think I need my score board out here. So see how ni nicely it folded. And then here's my template. And then I can fold these little sides in or out. Let's see which way. Oh, I think it would be pretty with some flowers folded over on this side. Yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to measure here, make a little fold here and then I'll take this template away so we can fold those nicely and a little fold here about right there I guess is where we want it um yeah okay and then so that'll be like this where we fold in and then we'll have a pretty little tuck spot here with our flowers isn't that pretty isn't this pretty paper easy peasy it was called 
I'm trying to remember where I got it. I got one of these at Walmart. And then one of these I received from my daughter-in-law who got it at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> one of the last three new paper pads that I got. And then one I received from Maria. And I don't know where she got hers. But they're all really, really pretty. Oh, you know what? Maria's, I think, was one-sided. Okay, so this must not be Maria's. This must be the one that I got at... Uh, that my daughter-in-law got me at Hobby Lobby. That's probably what it is. Okay, anyway. So later on, I'll do my sewing off camera. You know, I'll probably sew these together. I wanna do some sewing in here. I wanna take my time and do this really nice, so I'm not gonna rush. But, uh, and so here's another. So let's see how it looks in the journal. So this will be a cover to a signature. So this would be in here like this. And did I take all my papers out? Nope. So it'll be in here like this. And everything fits nicely and fits in the journal. Awesome. Okay, we did it. We did it right. <laughs> so this is going to be for another journal. Since it's the same paper, I'll use it in a different journal. So they all three have different cut, you know, variety of patterns and things in them. So this is the one for this tell a tale it's a little see these are a little these are a little wider these are quite a bit well not quite a bit a little wider than the, this way too and a little taller than the little golden books so mm, this is my template here I'm trying to see how much room I left myself out here so I know what to do with this um, I need to make it to cover this so it, it has to be at least this big but I can always cut this down if it ends up being too big, this piece of paper right here. So that's that's the ledger paper and with the stapled receipt on it in this journal. Isn't that random? <laughs> it's very random, but it's, very, it's fun. It's fun, random, but fun. Okay, so let's fold this one in half and do the same thing for that journal. Yeah, these they take these take a while, but I just like to make them really nice. And I just, you know, work on them when I can, you know, on my, in my, on the month, on my weekends and at night when I come home from work. So I want to get this right up to there so I don't make it any bigger than I, than this. I don't, this is like my max size right here. Okay. So then we'll fold these over and get our little pockets on this one. You see they're a little smaller but we're still pretty with that little fold over and to still a nice little tuck spot right so i hope everyone's having a good weekend i am having a good weekend i got a lot done yesterday listed some new things in my shop that i've brought home from thrift stores that i've been wanting to list and get organized so i feel like i'm I made a major accomplishment yesterday, so if you want to look at my new stuff I have in my shop, go take a peek. And so, yeah, this is going on this one. And this is a little shorter, but that's how it turned out with the way I cut it. But, uh, and I think that's okay. I can always cut this piece of paper down if I want to, so I'm going to leave it like that for right now. Sew that together later. And uh, this one will be for this one right here. So yeah, my daughter-in-law and my both my sons came over yesterday and we had a nice dinner. And I got to have fun with my little granddaughter. She's four months old. Okay, so this one is taller and it's getting in the way of my hole here. So... I think on this one, I want to have enough room for my fold overs though. So let's try it this way on this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to just cut this one like this. And that'll be extra anyway because I'm not using it right now. So I'll deal with that later. So I'm using this for my height. I'm going to cut this and uh, see how we do with this one. But yeah, so that was fun. 
And like I said, got a lot of my housework, a lot of stuff listed in my Etsy, organized and stuff like that. And <clears throat> today I wanted to work on these journals. I had got my my vaccine uh, the other day. I told you in a couple of videos videos ago that I got my COVID vaccine. And because I work in the legal industry in North Carolina, the legal industry was allowed to go and get their vaccine. So I did make an appointment and went. It was very organized. I got it. I didn't really have any side effects yet. So it's been, I got it Friday morning. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is really the starting the third day. But, you know, I, I mean, you hear you can get a cold or, or almost like a sick or something. Uh, even within the first two weeks. And I think it's not effective for two weeks too. As what I read in the, all the little the little booklet they gave me. <laughs> and so, yeah. So I'll let you know what happens in two weeks. But uh, within the two weeks. But I wanted to let you know in case you're getting it. And you're wondering how people are doing with it. And you know, if you're having, you know, second thoughts on to get it or not to get it. Uh, I wanted to let you know how I was doing anyway. I do have a hay, a hay fever allergy and I'm allergic to penicillin. So, <laughs> but this, I have not had any allergic reaction to this. So, um, so that, that's good. <laughs> it's always good. And, uh, and, uh, the only, you know, I haven't had any reactions to it uh, at all, except that my arm by a uh, Friday night, you know, I got it Friday morning by Friday night. My arm felt like it had, a, I was moving my arm around a lot. It's like, you know, they tell you to move your arm around so you don't get a, you know, sore arm or whatever from the, from the vaccine. But I was moving around. Okay, that looks good. And that fits right over that. And that's, so this is going to go in here. But uh, I did feel like I had a little, like, a bruise. Kind of like, it just felt like I had a bruise in, on my arm, on my shoulder, or in my arm. Uh, Friday night by yesterday morning, Saturday morning, it was kind of like gone. You know, that bruised feeling. So, you know, I think it's all good so far. So, <laughs> just letting you know. Uh, so far, so good. And uh, so I'll let you know. But uh, let's see. This is the next piece of paper I wanted to use. The limes and it's green. I wanted to do the greens. Because uh, this is kind of bunny spring type thing. So I picked out this one with the limes. I've got two of those, and this one right here with the green, another green, but look on the back, all kinds of fruits. <laughs> I thought it looked kind of, I know it looks kind of gardening, but this is Peter, one of these, is, are these Peter Rabbit? These aren't Peter Rabbit, but these, you know, bunnies are always wandering around in gardens, and that's what these books have their pictures about, it's bunnies in the garden. So anyway, I thought these were pretty, and it would be perfect for these journals. So on these, I'm just making pages. So, or I could be making pockets actually too. This is uh, uh, pages, pockets, covers type of thing. So I guess I'm doing the same thing, aren't I? Uh, I'm doing the same thing. So instead of doing the same thing, I'll just show you the papers I'm going to be using and cutting. Before we cut those, let me show you the other papers I pulled out as random papers. And I just want to see how these would go in here as the kind of electric writing pages so these I like these are really pretty and they're they're kind of uh you know just plain well I mean they're they're dark what they are is darker on this side and lighter I don't know if you can just see through there or I guess it's just you see through it but you see the pattern it actually looks like it's on this side too though but you can anyway see that pattern on both sides so I thought I'd put a couple of these one of these in each one and uh I like to try to use a wide variety of pages in my journals, like not the same three or four or five or t even ten. Like say I picked out ten for one signature and I don't want to use the same ten in the next signature and the same ten in the next signature. I want to have, you know, if I'm using 30 pieces of paper, I want to have 30 different pieces of paper. You know what I mean? So this is uh, something that I have the original of that I copied and and dyed different colors here. I dyed it with some writ dye and some coffee, or, or was it avocado? Anyway, uh, I dyed them, <laughs> and they came out really pretty, so I thought I'd use some of these. I've got three of these. I've got this, just a random thing I had with my papers, 
And so I, there's three sheets here, I think, or two sheets. I have to take the staple. Oh, is there a staple there? Anyway, oh, they're not stapled. They're just glued, okay. So I thought I'd take this apart and use this as just, it's kind of a neat feeling thin, thinnish paper, but it feels like it would be neat to, uh, you know, just almost like an onion skin, but it's this craft colored and then it's uh, Congress of the United States. Anyway, some interesting piece of paper. And then this is a homecoming booklet from the, this is from the, this is 76, 1976. And I thought I would try to pull something out of here that maybe could be used as a page. Uh, some of the bigger ads that, you know, not you can't necessarily cut them up as far as little, you know, journaling cards or tags could be used as pages. And then all these pages with pictures and things, just kind of <laughs> fun, elect eclectic pages, right? So then I have to take the staples out and I have to go grab my, if we do that today, I'll have to go grab my stapler. But first, let's see about these. So what do I have? Three, I said. So let's cut these down because they're too big. I don't think I would make pockets on these or anything because they're kind of, um, you know, I like to put my pockets in my tuck spots that I, when I make a pocket, like I just did with its tuck spots on the thicker papers. So, let's see, on this one, let's use this as my template again, since this is just a single sheet of paper with no pockets or anything. I might be able to cut these all at one time. Well, except that those two books are a different size. So this is the, um, this is the little golden book. Yeah, this is a little golden book. So this one's its own special size. <laughs> and so I'll make it like, I could still do flip overs on the side without, you know, sewing them down here. So I can save that pieces, those pieces right there. So I'll just show you what I'm doing with that. I'll cut this to fit this journal and then we'll do the other two together since there'll be the same. Oops, let me get this lined up. Made it a little tall there. Okay, there we go. Now we pull that out. Cut that. So I'm putting all my scraps right here. And what I've been doing is either making scraps, making it ephemera with my scraps, or I include my scraps with the journal when it goes to its new home so that whoever gets it can have fun with the scraps. So this is like this. So I can either make little fold ends at the sides, at both sides, or I can move this over and make a fold in on one side, which is what I think I'm going to do. Yes. See, then I have a bigger fold over here. You don't have to have it on both sides. So then I'll just refold this to be, you know, how it's going to be as a page. Okay. No biggie. No biggie. <laughs> there we go. So that's another page. And that's for this journal. Okay, so I have this here. These are not in the order they're going to go in, but I'm just, as I cut them, I'm kind of cutting cutting them to fit where they're, where they are. Let's see how this fits, actually. See, it's a little wide to go there. Let's see if it fits up here better, because I fit, cut it to fit this one, and now I have to remember that each, each page has to be a little smaller. It does fit up front. See how it doesn't stick out there, so I'll, I will. And that's a good um, transition from this pretty flowery color and you open up and you have that pretty kind of uh, same type of color there as this but it's you know it's lighter but it's the same kind of colors so that worked out well okay and now so we can do these two together right here because these books are the same size so we'll do these two pages together let me use a page from let's see I guess this is the smallest page I have in here, the smallest width. So let's use this one again, the same thing. Um, yeah, and then we'll get the height and we'll cut it and we'll make our little side, pop, side fold outs. Okay, let's get our size, okay. 
So I'm going to get it tucked up in there so it doesn't become too tall. All right. So we have, now we cut two pages, one for each of these journals. Trying not to, trying to keep organized here with all my three. I usually only do one journal at a time, but I was like, I have so many of these little books. I was like, uh, I'm going to try to do three at a time. I'm going to try. I might end up like abandoning two of them and just finishing one. You know, we'll see what I do here. <laughs> and I'll finish the other two later if it gets to be too much. But so far, it's pretty good. Okay, so that's that page. This came from here. And now I need to fold this in half. I shouldn't have folded those in half in half in the beginning, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay. So there we go. So let me separate these. Oh, I have three. Wow, look at that. <laughs> I didn't know. I might have to repeat a page or save one for later. Okay, so let's put this in the middle of this one. See how it fits. Yep, it all fits in there. And the other one was for this Telltale book. And uh, so one, let me grab one more. Wow, I cut more than I thought I did, didn't I? I really did. Okay. So this one, if I put it in the middle, let's see, this one goes in there, and this one goes in there. Yep, it fits, it fits. Okay, we are good on those. So let's see, we have time to cut these three. Let's see. I thought I might have to cut some of this border off and just kind of leave this middle part. So I figured that would be fine because that's the... The main part of the, what you want to see on this. So let's see. Again, let me use my inside piece here because, as I said, I'm getting smaller and smaller with the pages on for this signature. So it's about like that. And I want to cut this even on both sides as far as cutting the border off. I don't want my border to be like wide on one side and narrow on the other side. Even though when you turn the pages, you'll see only half of it at a time. I still, I might be able to make a little pocket in the back though. So this is regular copy paper that I copied these on. And so let's, let's see, let me make a little fold here. And that will, I think will help me. And I'm going to fold, fold, um, let's see, this is the, um, this is a little golden book. So. That's its own size by itself. And there we go. And I have that little fold to show me where to cut. Let's cut that off. And it should be the right size width-wise. And then let's see what we want to do on the bottom here. Let's throw those away. Okay, so the bottom, we want to make a pocket. Okay, here's the width. So this could be a little pocket on the bottom, this border here, and we'll leave that. It's not a big pocket, but it's a little pocket, and then we're not making scraps or trash. And then we'll cut off this piece at the top. And this will be folded in the back, so it won't, you know, it won't interrupt. I'll turn it around in a second after we cut this piece off the top here. And let me see. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going to just cut right along that black line there and see how that comes out. Let's see. I'm trying to keep the black line. It actually probably should be cut off, but I like the black line there, so I want to keep it if I can. Let's see how it does. So, like, yeah, this pocket will be turned around like this. So it doesn't cover up this certificate there. This is, what was this certificate? I thought it was kind of cool. For proficiency in indexing and filing. Yeah, this I got from, 
I don't know what I got it from, but anyway, I thought it was cool because it said that for proficiency in indexing and filing, that was apparently a school course back in from Remington Rand Inc. Library Bureau Division. Anyway, some kind of class or course or something that someone got a got a certificate from. So I thought that was kind of interesting, a little certificate there. So let's see how this fits in our journal. It's going to be kind of tall, but see it's a little bit past that. But let's see how it fits overall in here. If it's actually too tall for the cover, or if it'll if it'll pass. And I think it's going to pass. I think it's going to pass. Yep. It's all right. Okay. We can leave it. So I'll sew those together later. And let me go ahead and do this. I like I like to usually do a little triangle here. There's my scissors. Do this little triangle that I like to do. So I'll do that. And then we have our little pocket ready to sew down. And I go over to my sewing machine and I'll sew that together. So I think that's all I have time for right now. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on these. I'll come back with an update. Hope you enjoyed this little craft with me and that you did craft with me. Let me know if you did. I really like to hear what you're working on. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Happy crafting.